All right, how you guys doing? This is Julian. Um, back for another review. I'm going to be reviewing the Moto 360. Just letting you know my first impressions of it, what I thought. Uh, talk about what's buzzing on the internet as far as it having bad battery life, uh, being a little laggy. Uh, this is the box right here. I got the black on black one. Uh, in the box, it came wrapped in this, the watch. Um, came with a docking cradle. It's really easy to charge. All you do is take the watch and sit it on there and it starts to charge immediately. It'll give you a nice little uh, ring that lets you know your battery percentage and um, how long until it's fully charged. Um, this is a watch right here. As you can see, it's really beautiful. Uh, it's got the black stainless steel around the bezel. Uh, it's just raised slightly. Um, the leather is Horween leather. Uh, from a company based in Chicago that Motorola hired out to make its leather watch bands. Uh, if you hit the button right here, I'm using one of the custom watch faces. It comes with about six custom watch faces, six to eight, and you can just long press on the screen and then it'll bring up the different watch faces and you can scroll through and pick which one. When you first get the watch, it prompts you to download the Motorola Connect app what that allows you to do is customize your health profile or your fitness profile, giving you your height, uh, weight, and so it'll better track your uh, heart rate and calories burned. Uh, also inside of Moto Connect, it allows you to change the custom watch faces. If you go inside Connect, you just choose which watch face you want. And right here, you see that's like a turquoise color. You can change the color. It's about eight different colors you can choose from. Uh, what I found the first day of wearing this watch, and I got it last week, is that um, I, st I took it off the dock at around 7.30 in the morning, and around 3 o'clock, I noticed I was at 42%, which is kind of low, because I had to go the rest of the day to maybe 10, 11 o'clock at night. So I turned it off, waited a couple hours, and went the rest of the day. That very night, a system update came. After the system update... I tell you, this watch uh, will go 15 hours without a charge. Yesterday, I went from 7.15 before I took a flight, 7.15 in the morning, and I settled down around midnight, and it was still 30% left. So I know with that system update, I believe it's 4.4.1, 4.4W1. With that system update, uh, I'm getting much better battery life. As far as what people are complaining about, uh, just a couple things people were saying that it was a little laggy. I haven't noticed any lag at all. Um, if you long press on the screen, I mean, you can swipe through just fine. Um, you can swipe through just fine and pick different watch faces if you need to. It's back. Um, also with OK Google, the one thing I did notice is that when you press the screen to bring OK Google, you have to wait maybe one second before you give it a command or may wait one second before you say OK Google after the screen comes up. That's not a problem for me. Um, it listens to all the commands just fine with navigation. I used the navigation the other night when I was out of town and it tells you, you know, turn left in, fi in 500 feet uh, and it'll even buzz and vibrate when it's time to make the next move as far as turning right or keeping straight. Um, I downloaded a couple of the custom watch face apps like Facer and um, Custom Watch Face, I think it's called. I found that those were a little finicky, uh, meaning the watch faces were kind of not full resolution. They were um, seemed like just pictures that people have put on their images of watches that weren't high resolution. So it didn't look all that great. So I pretty much stick with the custom watch faces until the um, APK or whatever it's called for um, Google allowing new watch faces to be built into the software. So I'll wait on that. The ones that it comes with are great. Um, I found wearing the watch when you put it on, it feels really comfortable. Uh, the leather feels good. I get a good fit around my wrist. The watch is not heavy at all. I think it's like 47 grams and it fits and looks really good on my wrist. Um, the one thing I did notice when you're measuring your heart rate, the heart rate doesn't measure every time. 
it'll say, wait, you must keep your arm steady while measuring your heart rate. So it won't do it. Then you do it again and finally it'll give you the heart rate. So a couple of things that still need to be worked out with Android Wear and a Moto 360. But for now, I think it's a really good start. I'm really uh, excited about this watch. I get all my notifications from Yahoo Sports to ESPN Score Center, my emails, my text messages. Uh, it even updates me on my wrist when I enter the place that I normally check into and lets me know that I'm back there and if I want to check in again. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm really happy with it. I'm waiting on further updates to the watch. I know it's only going to get better. Uh, as far as the, as the TI OMAP 3 processor, I haven't noticed it being really laggy. I mean, it only has 5, 12 megabytes of uh, memory, but you're not storing any apps or anything on the phone directly. It's all being stored on your phone. So I don't see how it would really slow down or be laggy. Um, and those are just my first impressions of the Moto 360. If you enjoyed the review, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave comments. If you have questions, I'm willing to answer them. And uh, check me out on my next review. This is Julian, and thanks again for watching.